All right, what's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna show you my life of a day off in the army. Right now, we're gonna get COVID shots and we're gonna pick up something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time that I hope is going to do something with the channel. And right now, we're letting the, uh, the Subaru warm up. And yeah, we'll see where this day goes. Uh, we have some work to do on the Dodge Dakota. Also, um, got a roof rack for it, but I'll show you guys that uh, later on in the video. So let's keep going. So I just ran into Aaron BTV at the DFAC. We did a video a while back and I'll link his channel down below, but we went down to get the COVID shots. So since we didn't have appointments, they said no. So right now we're gonna hit the PO box, pick up that package I've been looking forward to and we'll show you guys a roof rack on the Dodge Dakota. So hopping up the Subaru, parked next to a cross track and a Forester. And this thing is sick, dude. The wheels are on that. Oh my God, he has the same wheels. That's sick. This thing's sick. So we got a rack for the truck. So now put things on top of it and in the back. So this, I've, I haven't heard of this, aaproductsinc.com is the company um, that makes this. I don't even know if you would call it a roof rack, but um, it goes over the bed. And instead of drilling into the, the bed of it, we just uh, put these clamps in, holding it in place. So, yeah, I think it looks good, but it's two in the front and just over here. But we're not gonna, have, I don't believe there's gonna be too much weight on this at all, but um, it's just more for like, um, what is it called? Kayaks. D will likes to do a lot of kayaking. So it's kind of like why he got it. But still just, uh, want to paint the rims and whatnot yeah but it's been it's been go looking good the bike's back here got a little rust from sitting outside in the snow but yeah the installation it was pretty easy as far as all this it's just three bolts two bolts and then same three and then two and then everything's just uh fitted in but it's a universal set so it it fits uh like small well you say it's a small trucks yeah Devo's ignoring me but it has this on the side also like a little handle i think um yeah i'm pretty sure the front is adjustable also so it, it's uh the sizing could be different but I got a good deal on it so picked it up all right guys so this is what i've been so excited to get in the mail and if you guys do know what this is then you guys already know that this is going to be sick this is the gt light so this is for a um it's like sim cockpit setup so it gives you a good gt racing position and also has foldability and it's easy to store and as you guys know this is my little barracks room i don't have a lot of room so portability and space is a great factor in the consideration of what cockpit i wanted for the racing sim setup and this is what I came up with. So I'm gonna open this up and in another video, I'll have everything put together. So I got this coming in, I got pedals, uh, steering wheel. Um, the only thing that I wanted that, I'm, that I didn't end up getting is a handbrake because I wanted a pickup style rather than a pull style. And I couldn't find one for um, like a cockpit with this setup. I'd have to make something 
and with the um, system I'm going to be playing on, um, it'd be better later down down the road when I'm playing on PC to get something like that. So right now, this is just a cockpit. Um, the steering wheel and pedals and shifter did not come in yet. So I'm going to take this out of the box and start assembling it. So this is the uh, G2 Lite Next Level Racing. Um, foldable cockpit, solid, compact, foldable cockpit to mount your wheel, shifter, and pedals. So in this example, they have a Thrustmaster. Um, that's what it looks like all folded up. That's what it looks like all assembled. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to assemble it today, but, uh, I got to have my room clean for room inspection at, or in a couple hours, so. I don't want to be halfway through this and yeah. So that's what it looks like. Gear shifter, hard mounting seat made with highly breathable fabric. Next level hub, all is quick set up. Yeah, so everything else is going to come in on Monday. Today is Friday. So yes. So I got GoPros. Like we get a wheel cam going, start some streaming. Hopefully this becomes so a part of my channel where, you know, playing some games and get a good feel for uh, muscle memory in terms of racing and whatnot. You know, it's supposed to be drifting this season. Um, things aren't working out with work and whatnot, getting time off to do such. So this was a, I want to say an option for me to get some seat time when I'm not on the track. Doing oil change on the Honda Civic. Let me see those mats, bro. Got new new mats for it. Civic mats. Oh yeah. Was that Royal Purple? And no cannon oil filter, but that's what we would be using but they didn't have them in stock. So we got a mobile one. Uh, so we're gonna drive back to this dry area and then just do it over here. And we're gonna put that cardboard down on the mats. That's the reason why I'm putting the mats in right now. So we can uh, have a, a warm spot to, or a dry spot to do the oil change. But this thing is needing an oil change pretty bad this is the uh auto zone jack that we got on sale hopefully it fits on it i think it will it's stock ride height so i'm gonna give it a couple seconds let me give you a couple seconds. Oh, she's my first time seeing underneath her, bro. She clean? I mean, there's a little rust from the fucking the front suspension. Yeah, I want to. I want, we should rebuild the front suspension. But the body, I mean, it looks like something was sprayed on it. Undercoating, maybe? It's a while back, though. I yeah. I mean, you got the. He redid the whole exhaust in the previous person. Yeah. No, it's like up, it's all up in there. In case you guys forgot, this is a V18C1 with an S80 transmission. So basically a GSR swap, full AC. AC heat, you know, whole nine yards, uh, aluminum single core, you know, six pretty nice, you know, just very uh, OEM plus esque. So, right now, I'm doing oil change on this thing, but probably gonna do, redo this valve cover. The wrinkle black is coming off. But 
Also, there's big plans for this thing in the future. You know, it's finally warming up. So we can just finally start doing the things we've been wanting to do to this thing. To it. There you go. All up out of the way. All right, guys. This is a sneak peek to next video. Yeah. All right, but that's the end of today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed and are looking forward to the simulator, please give it a like and comment down below if you guys also do sim racing and subscribe for the semi-daily content. And that's Dancing Dragons out. Peace.